Um, so since you joined the Liberty this year, um, I feel like you, there's definitely been an instant for uh, So you brought a lot of expertise and besides what uh, you been asking for some support. I wish I could take credit for that. <laughs> well, your so hand we, is obviously in the pot. So. Yeah, I mean, I've been a part of it, but, you know, we have real good players. And, uh, 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 and players for a common goal. That's the way that's so I did. I saw that from day one. You know, they all get along together. They fall for each other. So the atmosphere is, is, is conducive to women. You know, not any and not like a lot of side agendas or people worried about this and that. And when you watch the bench when they play, you see them all cheering for each other. They all pull for each other. So that's just part of being a team. And, and, and I enjoy being around them. One thing I noticed is you do sometimes, especially free game, I usually see you working to the defense, working on helping her kind of score around the defense. So how have you seen her game growing from the day you started working with her to yeah, remember she's an all-star now, playing right. the years, so she was pretty good before. Yeah, a lot of coaches like to take credit for improving players, but players, players improve themselves. If you're willing to work and you have the talent, and then I always put it back on the players. We, we're just the instrument, but it's, it's, it's really them. And, and, and with post play, a lot of times, you know, you get shots up, you get shots up, you shoot the ball, you shoot the ball, and post is a different position because almost every time you catch it in the post, it's a body on the body, as opposed to two guards coming off shooting, a point guard shooting, it's really not all the kind of So you got you got you got to get accustomed, or you got to get familiar with somebody bumping your body, making moves. So your position, if you never do that, and then you get into the game, you sort of off balance. So she do that to get a rhythm, get her time, and she different things is working for. So you know, it's been good that she kind of pulled me and was like, hey, come on, I need this. So far, she's been doing a great job. Is there anything of her that you may have? and decided, you know, I want to see her bring this part out of her team. She's so quick that she can attack people and they don't have a chance to go. You know, sometimes, but that's really part of being a player. Sometimes she won't. But when you watch her attack people, her first step is so quick that it's not even funny. And, and she shoots the ball extremely well from the outside. So her game is, her game is pretty much complete. All she's got to do is just keep refining and then just stay focused. I mean, when she's focused, she runs the floor well, she rebounds. I mean, she does everything. So, but her game, she just got to stay on top of her game, make sure it's solid. You know, that at the beginning of the season, you know, it's kind of up and down, but it was a lot of new faces here, a lot of new players, so they were just, and, you know, she the kind of player that her game is going to fit in. She's going to play her game and it fits in. Because she's not selfish. She could be selfish, but she's a big time scorer. She's one of our better passers, probably our best passers from the post. And um, she shares the ball. You open. You gotta get it, so it's been a pleasure working with you. So, one thing you've been coaching, obviously, in the men's league. Yes. Now, we all know the games, obviously, so it's similar to basketball, basketball, but are there any little bit of differences that you see so far in coaching the men's or the men's league versus coaching the men's league? Any more fundamental sound? Mm-hmm. As far as, uh, you know, cutting, getting open, uh, making moves. And, and, and it may be because men are more athletic, their bodies are built different, so they, they play above the rim sometimes. But, you know, the women's game is starting to change too. I mean, you see a, a Golden State did a lot of three balls, a lot of up and down, a lot of not so much high flying over the rim. They win the championship, so the women's game sort of, mir- sort of mirrors that game when you watch play. When you watch Chicago play tonight, you know, they spread the floor, they look to go one on one, they move the ball. And, um, this, this more discipline, this more discipline, and more, more fundamental sound, I should say. And, um, maybe that's the plan in college for four years, because a lot of a lot of players are coming to the NBA they're in college maybe one year, four, two years. So they they yeah they they get a lot of coaching for four years. And, um, that's really the show. Do you think that because of the success of you know? both state and like San Antonio right? where their games are a lot more fundamental, less acrobatic, but stunk game and everything. Like just New York, authentic basketball. 
very similar to what I see. Do you think that that will eventually translate as far as like fans, as far as it coming and being a little bit more I think so. I think so. If you, if you, if you, if you pop it the right way, get the publicity out there, you know, sell the players, you know, to the public. And, and that's, what they, that's what the NBA does a great job. They, just, they do a great job of selling their projects. And I mean, I know the WNBA has been around for a long time. Uh, I'm not sure how much they actually sell their projects. I feel like when you look at the teams playing this year, a lot of exciting games. So, the people that come to watch us play, they're up, they're cheering, and, you know, it, get, uh, it, get, it gets real loud in here, and they enjoy it. When I walk out, when I walk out of here, and I'm going to get my car, a lot of people, you know, hey, it's a great game, I had a great time, and, and that's what you want, that's what you want to do. People that pay their money to come to you want you want to get them some entertainment. You want them to enjoy coming to this place, watching watching us play basketball, and bringing them back. And my last question for you is: uh, my site focuses on all sports that all watch the NBA. Tell us a little bit about it. So what are some stuff that you like to do when you're not playing ball? Hang out with my kids. Um, kind of yeah, I like to play ball. Yeah, it's real challenging. You know, it's kind of it's kind of tough. The ball don't move to sit there. It seems like all you gotta do is hit it with a club. But it's more involved than that. You know, it's a, it's, it's a challenging game because one day you can play great, the next day you may be all over the place. It's something that you have to consistently do. If you didn't grow up doing it, and then it's a challenge. And I think a lot of a lot of NBA players. Kind of get addicted to something that they can't master, so you keep going after time and time again. But hanging out with friends, um, you know, pretty simple. You know, I'm going to the street. I'm sorry. Try to. <laughs> All right, thank you so much.